In this video, we'll take you along the next leg of the Aberdeenshire Coastal Trail. We'll ride our new mountain bikes from Finlauter Castle to Port Soy and back, and then we'll explore the mysterious Finlauter Castle ruins. And I'll show you one of my all-time favorite views in Scotland. We're starting the journey from the edge of Cullen to Port Soy and then back with our new mountain bikes. Hopefully having a good day, testing out the bikes, seeing some sights, and I'm gonna get some painting in at some point. Wow, this is such a smooth ride. I love it. Compared to my old bike, this is so nice. <laughs> There's Finn Lauder Castle. And we're gonna continue along this way. Wow, the waters look gorgeous. Down here, because uh -huh. this path is shut for some reason. Is it from oh. here, was it? Well, yeah. it's good to know. Thank you for telling us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we would have gone down and been like, oh. Back again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, have a oh, well. Day. thank you very Thank much. you, oh, yeah. Oh, change of plans. We, wa we cycled all the way down to the water, to the coast, and a couple ahead of us told us that the trail's closed. So we have to go back to the road just for like a mile and then we can get back on the coast trail. So, whew, not fun coming back up that hill. There now, coming up the uh, lovely cycle path that we chose. Look at her there though, she's really going for it. Not really cycle. <laughs> you can do it. I believe in you. Oh, she's doing it. She's doing it. Oh my God. She made it. Top of the stairs. Ah. <laughs> Give me win. That was hopefully our biggest climb. Literally had to carry up the stairs. But look at this amazing view. The gorse is in full bloom. The waters are turquoise. But we have to get through all of the spiky gorse. Obstacle course gorse. <laughs> yeah. On your right, no on your left. On your right. <laughs> we made it to Port Soy. We're just stopping for some chocolate and then we'll continue on. Cheese and hummus. How's yours? Mine's awesome because it doesn't have hummus on it. No, hummus is the best. So, bikes need a little work. Just a few adjustments. Set it tight. It's as tight as I can get it. Okay. Make a U-turn at Park Road.
we're back on the trail and wow, it looks amazing. So this time on the way back, I'm allowed to stop as much as I want and take photos and videos. <laughs> Look at what we found, some sea stacks. That's cool. Part of the reason that Scotland is so awesome is just finding all these little areas that are just, just natural beauty at its best. I mean, I don't know if you can see, but over here kind of, some black ptarmigans along with the seagulls that are causing all the noise that you might be able to hear. Can you finish up soon? Yeah? Yeah. Why? Uh, because I just got the tip on me. Oh God. Okay. okay. Yeah. Can you check me? Yeah. Yeah, as soon as I stood up and I saw the bug and I went, oh, and I went, oh, it's a tick. Oh. Oh, this is a steep bit, yeah, but I it's, saw it. I saw you. Good job. Oh, but wow. It's just so vibrant. Yeah, your favorite oh. color as well, yellow. <laughs> Imagine painting this. It's kind of like an orangey yellow. Oh, wow. It's just every breath I take is so, it's so scented. It's so amazing. I wish there was smell of vision. Yeah. <laughs> you could smell it and just it smells like coconut. Coconut. Awesome. And like sweet almond or something, just perfect spring smell. <laughs> Then coming up. Yeah. So check out all these bunkers. There's a bunch of bunkers and all the anti-invasion blocks along the beach. Hey. <laughs> Having a nice leisurely stroll along the beach. We don't wanna kick up sand into our discs, our gears and all of that. So we're just walking them along the beach. Plus it's gorgeous. Well done, baby. Well done, you. Now we get the impossible task of putting it all back. Where's the car key?
right, we are back, starting at the same point we did last time. Confession time. After we got back from the round trip to Port Soy, we were absolutely <laughs> exhausted. And I really wanted to paint Finlutter Castle, so we decided to come back. It's two days later and completely different weather. I mean, it is sunny and beautiful, but as you see, it is crazy foggy. The sea fog has moved in. So in a way it's kind of fun because we get to see it in totally different situations. And I think it might be a cool painting if I can see the castle. We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> The tricky thing I'm finding with doing this coastal journey is that there's only so many hours in the day and I only have so much energy. So it's like I have to figure out when and where to stop to paint or just take photos and keep moving. And then I miss out on a lot of things that I want to paint. So, I mean, I can paint from the studio, but there's some locations that I just have to paint in person. So it's going to be a tricky battle against time in the future when I'm driving far away from home and doing like a multi-day hike because then I can't just revisit it the next day. <laughs> but luckily because we live not too far from here we can come back and see it whenever we want basically. Wow, I can't believe this is the same place we were at like two days ago. Two days ago. There is no view of the castle now. The rumor has it that uh, there used to be three vampires that used to flat together in this castle. So you can go down inside the castle, if you're brave enough. <laughs> There's a very steep drop into it. And you can kind of see down in. So Scotland appears to have had uh, its effect on Sarah. She's now become Sarah the Brave, sitting on... <laughs> like, I keep leaning this way because I'm scared, but there's no wind, so I don't feel like I'm gonna just fly off the edge if I sit here and I don't move, I should be fine. Put the bag down because you're scaring me. Is that a puffin? He spotted us and he's looking up at me. The puffin? I don't, I don't think it's a puffin. Oh. It looks like a puffin, but look, it's one of them. Hey. Good thing there's no wind. Yeah. You don't want to go into the castle? I want to paint it first before the fog leaves.
So we're finally clearing up just a bit. The fog's kind of getting burned off, I guess. And there she is painting the castle. So I've completely lost the light and the atmosphere I started with. It was obviously very foggy and you could barely see the castle. And now everything is in full sun and it's super vibrant and colorful. So it's just, you, you just have to know when to stop and move on to the next painting or take lots of reference and learn from it and paint back in the studio. But I learned a lot and I'll take what I learned and use it next time. Whoa. <gasps> oh wow, it goes down into another floor. Yep. I'm not, obviously not doing that. Right. Wow. Imagine living here back in the day. And this is your view. That would not be a bad view, <laughs> but yikes. Oh my god, no. I think it's just you playing it on the wall there. No. Um, no way. <laughs> no way. I'm not even going to go down there because they'll just slide down in the hole. It'll be, it'll be like... Tomb Raider, where you slide down and you have to jump and catch the ledge at the right time. Yeah, and then you fail. <laughs> and then you fall in. But no, that's literally there. That's where the photo is. Yeah, I believe you, but I don't want to go down. <laughs> I don't want to die in a castle on the edge of a cliff. Despite hating the paintings I did, this was absolutely magical. We saw tons of sea fog. We saw so many cool birds. We saw the views, the light change over the course of a few hours. And look at it, it's just <laughs> perfection. Scotland is amazing. <laughs> She is flying the drone to get some extra awesome footage of this place for you guys. Look at it. Ever since the sun's sort of burned away the, the haze, beautiful turquoise waters and greens and yellows. It's just a beautiful place. Back up and down. I'm 
amazing what a few hours difference makes. Now we can see everything, whereas we couldn't see it at all before. So I guess we're going to head back to the car now, and I hope you enjoy this episode. See you on the next leg of the journey. 